You! Hi. Everything looks clear. This is H222. H2, here's the person I... Hey! Everything looks clear. This is H222. H2, here's the person I talked to you about. Nice to meet you, H2. Another person actually happy to meet me. This'll take some getting used to. Remember what I told you, H2. I'll fire up the signal. Excuse me. From what I've been told, it's probably I'm safer if I don't say anything. I'm I, I don't to want go. to put you in any more danger. H2 safe. Someone will be here shortly. Why can't you talk to me? I don't really know, but Mr. Stockton told me it's best for everyone. I don't think he was lying to me. I wanted to thank you. This world is overwhelming. But people like you make me feel better about coming here. I have a lot of questions, especially about the Institute. That's precisely what Mr. Stockton said I shouldn't talk about. At all. If I understand more about the Institute, I may be able to help you, and others, better. I'm sorry. I don't know much about the Institute. I worked the maintenance tunnels. Every day, for as long as I can remember. The only time I spoke to anyone was to acknowledge scientists' orders, and very rarely to other synths. I've talked more in the past few days than I have my entire life. You worked with scientists? Yes. At least that's what we called them. My only interaction with them was to receive orders on what to clean. I would acknowledge my task and occasionally ask for necessary clarification, but that's really it. What's life like for a synth in the Institute? Synths are expected to behave like machines. You await instructions, you execute instructions, you perform basic self-maintenance. Anything else is considered defective. And then the SRB comes. Goodbye, H2. Thank you. You have no idea how nice it is just to talk to someone. Don't shoot. Charmer, right? I heard about you. Walked the Freedom Trail, cleared out Switchboard. Glad you joined the team. Do you have a Geiger counter? Right you are. Mine is in the shop. All good? Now, let's take a look at our friend. Hey, you? You okay? A little rattled, but I've never been better. The other man, he said I shouldn't talk too much. He told you right, H2. You'll need a real name and a new face, but we'll get to that. Oh, listen. There's more than raiders behind me. Afraid we need a little more help. What type of help? We need to get to Ticonderoga's safe house, my home. A lot of sense fresh off the boat crashed there until we smuggled them out of the Commonwealth. All right. Ticonderoga, here we come. I'll lead the way.
I hear something. Hi, Raz. We can catch up at Tycon. We just gotta make it there alive first. And we're here. All in a night's work for you agent types. Huh. Just part of the service. I think I'm gonna like you even more than Glory. If you ever need grub, bullets, or just a power nap, take the elevator up to Tycon. My house is yours. But right now, I need to take care of H2. Later. safe at night. Mr. Stockton said I shouldn't say anything. But thank you. Thank all of you. If all the railroad bases look this posh, I might actually enjoy hanging around with them for a while. You're from HQ, right? But then, we managed to run into the Vault Dweller. I'm happy to report that with the Vault Dweller's help, Billy, reunited. Tycon's one of the few places that feel safe. Yeah? With happy endings don't come along all too often. So I hope this one put a smile on your face. 